Hello everyone man, welcome back to Tech Block. Today I kind of want to go over a lot of the smart home tech in this room as this is still uh, the previous setup I guess but before we move out I want to go over all the smart home tech, all the cool stuff we have in here as there's a lot of kind of like unique items in here I guess that I kind of want to show off before we move everything over. So we have some Wi-Fi curtains. I bet you've never seen these before but uh, these curtains are connected to my Wi-Fi network and they can open and close either through an app on your phone or your Amazon Echo. So you can pretty much open and close your curtains via your voice. It's insane. Close curtains. There you go. It took a little bit of time, but as you can see, the curtains have been shut. It's pretty cool. And we can also open them, of course. Open curtains. Yeah, so that's the thing, uh, you know, Wi-Fi curtains, pretty darn cool. I've made a dedicated video all about them, how to set it up and stuff. Uh, you can press the card on the screen now if you want to go watch that one. But uh, that's that. They're very, very expensive. That is the only drawback to them, I guess, is that just the price point is absolutely stupid. But it's a cool product. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also pick them up on AliExpress for a much cheaper price. At least that's what I've heard. But if you end up ordering it through Amazon, through the company that sent me the curtains, uh, it's extremely expensive. Like it's hundreds of pounds for curtains it's insane but it is a pretty cool product that i kind of wanted to show off there so that's that below the curtains though we have an rgb bed that is a philips hue led light strip inside of the bed frame in there uh, there used to be a standard led light strip that actually came with the bed but that's now been replaced with a philips hue one so we can sync it up with like razor chroma the rest of the rgbs over here and uh, yeah so we can turn that bed on and off we can change the colors to whatever we want through our amazon echo of course set a bed color to blue yeah, so that's the thing, uh, just an LED bed pretty much. Over in this side of the room, beside the bed here, we have another gaming setup entirely. We have like two headsets here. It's a little bit of a mess, sorry about that, but we are like in the midst of moving everything out. So yeah, we have another setup in here. We have a PC, we have a server in there. We have a 4K monitor there from BenQ. Two Razer headsets, a Razer keyboard. We have a Razer mouse and mouse mat combo. Just like a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Then we even have like an RTX 2060 just kind of sitting beside the monitor there as like a decoration piece. Cause uh, we used to have like that LED lamp that I had on the corner there for a while, but I moved that lamp over to the new apartment. So yeah, it's unfortunately no longer here. That's kind of why there's an RTX 2060 where the lamp used to be. Behind this desk though, we have a Philips Hue LED light strip stuck behind the tabletop there. So you can kind of just see there are some LEDs kind of shining there. So it's just one LED light strip. And then we also have paired that light strip with, sorry about the cable management back here by the way, but uh, we have a Philips Hue motion sensor here, which is stuck beneath the desk. And uh, this is kind of programmed to turn the LED light strip off once there's no motion around this, this area or you know, by the setup after I think 30 minutes. And then whenever you come into the room or you sit down to you know work at the setup or play games the led lights will automatically turn on as they'll see that you're at the setup and when you leave the room you don't have to worry about turning stuff off it'll turn itself off after like half an hour or so but you can of course program it to turn on and turn off at different times so you can set it to turn the led light strip off after like one minute of no motion activity but uh, I've currently got mine set up to around 30 minutes, I think. So that's that, a Philips Hue motion sensor paired with a Philips Hue LED light strip behind this one. And then if we move over to the main setup here, there's a, there's a lot of Philips Hue going on here and uh, also a motion sensor fitted beneath this desk too. So if we kind of begin, I guess, over there, we have a Philips Hue LED light strip behind my subwoofer. Change subwoofer color to green. Sorry, oh. I didn't find a device name Sofa. Sofa, yeah. Set subwoofer color to green. There we go. So a Philips Hue LED light strip behind that subwoofer there. Uh, that I'm pretty sure is also programmed to this motion sensor. Yeah, this motion sensor is uh, right here. Just another Philips Hue motion sensor. Each one of those motion sensors is around, I think, 20, 25 pounds on Amazon. So it is kind of a little bit expensive, I guess, for a motion sensor. But uh, I have one beneath this desk as well. And that motion sensor is also kind of programmed to turn all the LED light strips off after around half an hour of no activity. And then once you, of course, sit down at the desk, all the lights will come on, which is pretty darn sick. So you kind of save on electricity, but it's also kind of cool because like, when you walk into your room, you sit down, all the lights kind of turn themselves on automatically and you don't even have to really do anything. It's kind of very lazy once you think about it like that, but it's a pretty cool setup nonetheless, you know, a motion sensor, Philips Hue LED light strip. It's pretty cool. But uh, that motion sensor is also paired with a bunch more Philips Hue products. Then we have another Philips Hue LED light strip that starts kind of in the corner of the desk there goes all the way around, through here, through there, through there, kind of ends all the way at the other end there. So we have, I think a three meter strip altogether, kind of going along the entire perimeter 
of these desks here. And if you're wondering what desks I have or any of the products in this setup, I made a dedicated like gaming setup tour a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, I think at this point. But if you wanna go watch that video and learn more about every single product here, a little bit more in detail, press on the card right now to go watch that one. And uh, I've also made another gaming setup tour for this guy here. So if you wanna go watch that one, press on the card on screen as well to check out the gaming setup tour of this gaming setup there. But getting back to this setup, you know, a three meter LED light strip also synced up with that motion sensor. And then we have three Philips Hue LED like light bars. So we have one set to green there, one set to cyan, then one set to like a dark blue, I guess. So all three here behind the monitor. And at nighttime, it looks pretty cool. You have like three different light sources behind your monitor. You can set them to whatever color you want, of course, as they are Philips Hue. They will sync up with Razer Chroma. They sync up with games, thanks to Razer Chroma integration. And they even sync up to my web browser because I use Vivaldi. If you haven't checked out Vivaldi already, it's freaking awesome, man. But uh, this web browser supports Razer Chroma integration as well as Philips Hue integration. So depending on what website you're on, the Philips Hue lights and your Razer products will set themselves to the color of the website, I guess. So one example would be if you're on Twitter, everything will pretty much set itself to like a, a light blue or like a cyan color. If you go on YouTube, it'll be red. If you go on Facebook, it'll be blue and so on and so forth of all other websites, but it's pretty darn cool, especially if you have Razer products and Philips Hue LED light strips. Vivaldi is a pretty darn good browser. You should definitely consider it. But that pretty much covers all the main Philips Hue products in my setup. We have another Philips Hue uh, device up here. This is a Philips Hue RGB LED light bulb. That one's the B22 version, as that's the sockets that I have in this apartment. But yeah, we have a Philips Hue RGB LED light bulb in there uh, that can also, of course, sync up to Razer Chroma. And that light bulb is controlled through a Philips Hue like dimmer switch. So it's one of these things right here. We can turn the light bulb on just like that. We can turn it off, of course. It's super simple. You can increase and decrease brightness with this guy. And the reason I actually got one of these in the first place is to replace the standard like light switch on my wall. So I went ahead and picked up like a Philips Hue light dimmer switch cover and then pretty much attached this onto the wall here. I'll leave links in the description down below to Amazon where you can pick up this Philips Hue light switch cover as well as the dimmer switch, of course, and all the other products I've mentioned in this video earlier. All the links are down below in the description for you in case you want to go pick anything up yourself. But that's the Philips Hue dimmer switch. Very, very cool, super simple to set up. And you can even control like pretty much every single light in this room through that dimmer switch. Like you can program it to, you know, control whatever you want really. So we can go ahead and make the dimmer switch control every single light bulb in this room all at once, or just all the LED lights in the setup or like in that setup, you know, whatever you want really. Make it control whatever products you want, as long as they're Philips Hue, of course. And last but not least, we have the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels up here. Now, these are super dope, very expensive, but absolutely amazing product. There's like a music rhythm module that I've attached onto there as well. So these can go ahead and react to music. It's just crazy, man, honestly. Really cool LED lights. They're genuinely a very unique product. Nothing else really like there on the market, like Nano Leafs. They, of course, can also pair up with Razer Chroma through the Nano Leaf pairing tool. So whenever you play games, your Nano Leaf Aurora light panels can also react to what's going on in game. Uh, one and the amount of games that are supported by Razer Chroma is like increasing pretty much every single day. So there are probably like hundreds of games that support Razer Chroma integration at this point. Uh, so yeah, your Nano Leaf Aurora light panels, your Philips Hue LED lights and LED light strips can all react to what's going on in game pretty darn cool. Okay, so we're back at this setup now. And over here, we have a smart socket. So a two gang socket. And this works with Apple HomeKit, as well as Amazon Echo, Google Home. If this, then that. Everything is supported by this light socket here. So massive shout out to Lightwave RF for sending this over. But uh, this is probably one of the coolest devices in this room, uh, mainly because instead of using like smart plugs that I'm sure you're very used to seeing, and then taking up way too much space. Like if I plug in one smart plug into this one, there's a good chance that there wouldn't be any space left for the socket beside it. So yeah, smart plugs can be very bulky at times and they kind of take up more than one socket. So this is like the perfect solution to smart plugs. It's way better, it's way more cleaner. So you can go ahead and control all your sockets through an app on your phone or Apple HomeKit, which is just way more convenient or Amazon Echo, whatever you want, dude. But uh, the LEDs up here are also RGB to an extent, but as you can see, they're currently both on red, which means both the sockets are turned off. If you press that button, that'll of course turn it on. And as you can see, the LED lights just came on. So that's currently on blue, meaning it's on. We can turn that on as well. Then the PC, I think, will turn on, hopefully. But yeah, really cool product. Getting back to this setup though, we have a total of one smart plug and one smart power strip. Also, once again, sorry about the cable management. I am in the midst of moving everything over to the new apartment. Uh, so as for the smart power strip, 
it's currently got three monitors plugged in, aka these three monitors right here, and we can control every single one of them through Amazon Echo or an app on our phone. So, turn off monitors. Boom. And all the monitors are turned off. Turn on monitors. Boom. And all your monitors will come back online pretty darn cool but not only can you do that you can also control every single monitor individually so turn off left monitor okay that's the right monitor but you get the point I'm pretty sure I need to swap the power sockets around and then as for the smart plug we have our razor wireless charger there turn off razor wireless charger I don't know if that's what Sorry, it's called oh. I don't know that one. No. turn off razor charger is that the one yeah, that's the one. So it's called Razer Charger, God damn it. So yeah, we have like a, an LED wireless charger there from Razer. Turn on Razer Charger. Boom, so that's that. Well, that covers just about everything, but there is a few more things that I can show you. So right here, we have a smart security camera from Arlo. View Hallway 2 camera. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure Hallway 2 is this camera over there. Yep, so that's that camera there. It's currently facing our setup. And if we go ahead and wave our hand here, you, we should see it. Yeah, there's a slight delay, but you can see it on the camera there. And then finally, we have two soft boxes here that are plugged into a smart plug. So I can go ahead and turn the lights on and off via my Amazon Echo or an app on my phone instead of walking over to each light and turning it on manually. Alexa, turn off soft boxes. Boom, and the lights are off. So now that the lights are off, that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. All the links to all the smart home tech featured in today's video are down below in the description in case you want to go pick it up yourself. But apart from that, hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.